Before you start texting in, we know this is the 208, but for this next story, we're going about 5,100 miles to the east because happening right now over in the Basque Country is what's called Karika. It's an 11 day, 1,500 mile relay throughout the seven provinces in the Basque Country. And it started yesterday, and guess what? This is a live look at the race happening right now. How about that weather over there? You can see people holding the Basque flag and jogging along in the snowy streets with music in the background. Take our word on that one. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning there right now, but I'll tell you, uh, that is a really hearty group out there in the middle of the night running through. We say hello to them. I'm sure they can't. They can't see me, but um, this Karika, it only happens once every two years, and people from all over, they gather in a relay-style race, as you saw, and it's a way to raise money and awareness of the Basque language. And for those of you new to Idaho, Boise has the largest population of Basque people outside of the Basque country, which is why we have an entire block dedicated to Basque culture in downtown Boise. So when Karika happens in the Basque country, it also happens here in Boise but just on a smaller scale, and you can imagine with some different weather. The Basque language, which is Euskera in Basque, is really fundamental to Basque identity. In fact, the word for Basque person in Basque is Euskaldun, which literally means someone who has Basque. In other words, somebody who speaks Basque. This language, uh, we don't know the exact dates, but we know it's quite ancient. It definitely predates Spanish and French. Um, and was spoken pretty widely in the Basque Country. But with the Spanish Civil War and the Franco dictatorship, this language was practically banned for all intents and purposes. So um, a lot of the people who lived in cities were not able to maintain the language. Um, it was not taught in schools, and it was very much discouraged. In some villages, there were signs outside where it said, speak, don't bark. And barking would refer to the fact that they were speaking in Basque. What's interesting here in the diaspora, here in Boise in particular, but in all of the different communities, is here in the United States, Basque was never banned. So they continued speaking it here, and it flourished. And you look around, and we have so many different people who speak Basque from the, from the get-go. And they speak Basque, and they speak English. They don't speak Spanish. They don't speak French. So it's due to the diaspora, to a certain extent, that this language was able to be you know, maintained during those dark times. <laughs> Tomorrow, um, we're really, really excited. We're going to have our own Corrica. The Corrica is an event that takes place every two years in the Basque Country. It's a fun run in support of the Basque language. So in the Basque Country, people run uh, all throughout the country from one village to another for 11 days straight, 24 hours a day. There is one baton, and it is passed along um, through all of the different towns, different groups. And at the end of the Corrica, the message is read out loud, and it usually has something to do with, you know, promoting Euskera, living in Euskera, just, you know, just giving it all the recognition that it needs, even if it's just for those 11 days. We have to continue on for the rest of the two years, continuing that flame so that, you know, the next Corrica can take place. And here in Boise, what we've done is um, the children from the Icastola will be writing their own little messages, words. We're going to be reading their messages as well as a general message for the Boise community, um, both in Basque and in English. It's important to bring visibility to the language and to the people. Um, it's important to, you know, make the community aware of this because, you know, throughout the diaspora, other things have become important. Here in Boise, dance is super important and it's beautiful. It's one of those things that was maintained here when people couldn't do Basque dancing in the Basque country. But let's bring the Basque language in there as well because not everybody can dance, not everybody can do different activities, but everybody can speak. Corrica, you know, gives that significance. So some quick math for you. They're running for 264 hours straight. Pretty impressive. So the runners carry the baton throughout the race, and that baton is filled with messages written by the students at Boise's Basque Preschool, which is the only Basque preschool, by the way, in the United States, right here in Idaho. What they say will be revealed at the end of Boise's run, and that starts at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning on the Basque block. Everyone is welcome to join the three-mile fun run through the Basque block. We'll have better weather than they do. But uh, it goes all the way through Julia Davis Park, up Capitol Boulevard, and back down the Basque block. There's a $10 suggested donation, and that money will go towards Boise's Basque Preschool. If you say to yourself, Joe, I'm not a runner, I'll tell you this, no problem. 
You can join the after party, and that's right after the run, and there'll be music and food and drinks on the Basque block. And if you're looking to learn more about the Basque language, or maybe even learn the Basque language itself, the Basque Museum in downtown Boise on the Basque block, it offers so many different opportunities for those of Basque heritage, as well as those looking to learn more about the culture. That includes Basque language courses for all ages and abilities, and we've got more information on how you can do that right now in this story on KTVB.com. If anyone in the Basque country sees this, keep running through the snow. Very great work.